This is my review on my F2000 by g and Sorry, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, anyways, back to reality. Um, As you can see, I bought the two-tone version with the black tan and then the lower... <laughs> Lower assembly black, the handguard, or whatever the fuck this thing called. <laughs> um, now this gun is all ABS plastic, uh, mixed in with fiberglass. <laughs> um, the only metal parts are internal, and um, this weaver rail, the outer barrel, and the iron sights. That's really the only metal parts. Um, so I guess let's start from the barrel has a M4 birdcage flash hider on it, and I don't know why they put that instead of the F2000 original uh, flash hider on it. Um, this handguard and this upper assembly are removable. Uh, but, um, but this upper assembly is plastic, and this is uh, plastic as well, but it has a really uh, slick coating on it. Um, the iron sights are a peep and a fork or a post, not a fork, a post. Um, Never what they're called that. peep and a post. Um, the charging handle is uh, plastic, so if you AK slap it, um, it's gonna break eventually. Um, uh, I will show you how to remove the upper assembly now. You see this pin on the side of the receiver? Um, it's a little metal pin. You push it and then pull the rest of it on this side out. Um, pull it and then make sure your inner barrel doesn't get stuck inside of the uh, receiver. It is a little tough the first time because it's going to be brand new or whatever. Uh, as you can see, you can change inner barrels from here, you can change outer barrels from here. Now, you can even replace this if you need to, or you could place anything on this part of the weapon. Um, to remove this handguard and replace it with the one with the flashlight, it has these four, has these four black tabs in it, and you're just going to push the back ones down. I find it easier to hold it by the pistol grip and push the back two down, and then the front two down, and it comes right off. To reassemble it, you just put it in place. And they make other ones for like $115, $150 for railed or a flashlight version, and it's a waste of money if you go look at the reviews on e-bike forum. The, yeah, um, the, LED, well, the one with the LED flashlight in it, uh, There's I, at this time there's one review on it. Um... That is, uh, <clears throat> duty turn purple. that, um, says it isn't all that bright, so I would recommend, recommend not getting it. Um, now to the trigger assembly. <laughs> um, the trigger is plastic, and the selector switch, which is right under the trigger, which is based off of P90, which is also licensed and made by, uh, G&G has one, uh, but it's also licensed by FN Hirschfeld has a P90 selector switch that has S for safe, one for semi-automatic, and one for A for uh, fully automatic. Um, it does have a thumb hold stock, which is very comfortable. Uh, the, at, when you first get this gun, the selector switch is a little tough to move around, but um, yeah. Uh, mag. Oh, mag right there. Um, a lot of people don't realize where the mag release is, and that is it right there. This little black piece behind the pistol grip is the mag release, and I'll show you how that works. Load your mag, just like that, and, and take the gun, push up, and pull out. Um, Hop-up chamber is underneath this flap. Just lift that up, and uh, there's no latches you have to move or anything, just lift it up. And hop-up chambers right there, you can see the top of the cylinder uh, and the top of the gearbox. It takes a version 6 type gearbox, which I think was specially designed for bullpup, more more specifically the F2000. Um, the stock gearbox that it comes with comes with speed gears, and um, 
some more internals that you can reach by removing the back plate. And I'll get to that in a minute. Um, <coughs> licensing. Um, it has, right here, it has the FN Herstel stamp. It says, under it, it says licensed by FN Herstel in white. Uh, here it says FN Herstel Belgium F2000 caliber 6mm, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, on this gun, and I've only heard of this on this gun, is that the serial, and some KWA, KWAs, is that the serial number changes. And they are painted with white. Um, yeah, so it changes every time. Now on this side, there's another F and Herstel stamping. They're very realistic because F and Herstel did actually, um, was actually, had, uh, did actually uh, stamp this. So they had the legal rights to say they designed this weapon, even though it's an airsoft gun. Okay, now why I have the duct tape here. Oh. Before I get to that, um, on the real one, the shells come through here. The ejections, the ejected, being ejected shells come through here, and when you pull the charging handle back, it f pulls down this flap, and the shells eject this way to um, prevent hitting your uh, team, team, squad, team member or squad member to the side with you, to the side of you. Um, yeah. On the back of here, I have this duct tape, and I recommend you do this if you have this gun, because there are sling mounts under this that lead right to the gearbox. And that is a bad thing, because if you're playing in the rain or dust or really whatever, dust and rain are going to get into the gearbox, and it's going to screw your gun up. Alright, to remove the butt plate, and it, and by the way, the sling mounts are on both sides to just tape the whole thing. Um, to remove the butt plate, just grab the back of it. Um, and push up. And a lot of people say they have problems with this being being removed really easy. And if you keep this metal plate in here, that's to keep the form of the butt plate. Um, slides back, right back into there. It makes it a lot harder to remove and um, put back on. So that's I keep it in there. Um, but anyways, uh. It has a quick change, I believe it's called a uh, quick adjustment power, and you get a flathead screwdriver, and you compress or decompress, thank you, um, by just taking your flathead. Lefty, weaker, righty, stronger. So he, the more it goes in, the stronger, the more compressed the spring is, so the stronger it shoots, and it shoots from like 350, 360, up to 410. But yeah, um, mine, I don't know what the hell's going on with it, but it's not cranking in all the way. Um, yeah, uh, but like he said, the more it's com decompressed, the less power it has. The more <coughs> it, it is compressed, the more power you have. Uh, battery compartment space is pretty big. Um, it can fit your stick type or whatever kind of type that is. 9.6 brick type or uh, uh, the lipo I have I think you get if it's in some of my videos go check them out um but anyways it's just like a normal battery connector just hook it up uh yeah um to place the butt pad back on just slide in to make sure the grooves upside are back down. on huh? upside down oh it's not never mind. It's not. <coughs> sorry but yeah um I'm dying. Okay, in the reviews and everywhere else, they say this gun is 7.8 pounds. Hop up go is right yeah, in there. Yeah, I said that. Oh, okay. I didn't see that part. Um, on the reviews and everything, uh, they say it's 7.8 pounds. It is not. It's around 10 pounds. Well, mine is anyways. It's very heavy. It's more like an LMG. But rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, go out and buy this gun. $360 on ebike.com. Thanks. Bye.